Let's turn back to the budget week. Huge politics and a big week on that front. Let's bring in our panel. Our regulars on a Monday, Liberal, former Liberal Minister and now Principal of Z Advisory, Z Sazelja, and the former Labor Advisor now with Premier State, Darren Barnett. Gents, great to see you both. Darren, Labor to deliver a surplus. It's, uh, it's going to be a big moment, I think, in uh, both well, in a budget sense but symbolically for the government to get that done. Oh, it's a massive moment, Kieran. It's the first budget surplus for 15 years and obviously there's a number of factors that have led to this being the case. There's high commodity prices, there's you know, employment wage growth, there's lots of, I think, gave lots of people in the job market at the moment. Now, all of these things combine to give, as you say, it's going to be a budget surplus that will provide great encouragement for the Labor backbench, for those in Parliament, uh, but it will also send a signal to the broader community that things are OK at this point in time, that the government is tuned into the task of trying to balance the books. Obviously, there will also be a big cost of living relief component. There will be money uh, for helping with energy bills, a little bit to do with medicines. All of these are very positive steps and it's going to be a pretty good night for Jim Chalmers tomorrow night, I think. Zed Sazelja, how do you reflect on this? Because I, I know that there are those in, in the coalition who will say, look, we left you the unemployment rate where it is and, and so on, and, and the sort of low estimates for commodity prices, which are going to be exceeded in a, in a big way in this budget. But either way, this is still Treasurer Jim Chalmers to deliver the surplus. Well, I think, I think um, the community will obviously be looking at it in a number of ways, Kieran. One, of course, as you say, uh, the things that... Uh, were effectively in place, like uh, a booming commodities sector, uh, which is a big part of this. I think inflation, uh, ironically, is contributing to uh, that that proposed that suggested budget surplus. We haven't seen it yet, but we anticipate that'll be the case. Um, because as as inflation goes up, wages chase that a little bit. More people going into higher tax brackets. Sorry, I think that on. will put the emphasis, I think that will put those perhaps in Labor and other parts of the community who are calling for those stage three tax cuts to be cancelled. I think there's a, a weaker case when you've got more and more taxpayers uh, going there and that bracket creep is doing its job when it comes to uh, balancing the budget. But of course, that means more Australians are paying a higher rate of tax. So it's important that they're getting a bit back. And then I think uh, the challenge for Labor having presumably banks that banked a, a, a balanced budget or a surplus will be to make sure they're putting downward pressure on inflation and ensuring that Australians and particularly middle income earners uh, who are doing it tough are able to get a bit of relief but also uh, not seeing their prices continue to rise at a very rapid rate as we're seeing at the moment. So those will be the challenges going forward uh, but of course uh, the budget coming back into balance is a good thing for the country uh, and all of those factors have gone into it.